Hi, Hi we're, we're the, the Bennetts. Bennetts. I'm Craig. I'm Tady. I'm Elijah! And we are missionaries in Vanuatu. Vanuatu is a volcanic island nation in the South Pacific made up of about 85 islands. Over 100 different languages are spoken here in Vanuatu, but sadly the Bible hasn't been translated into most of them. So we're here on a mission to do something about that. believe the last night of VBS is here already. Thank you so much for letting us join you this week to share with you about Vanuatu. Tonight we get to tell you the most exciting part about our life here. Yes, as Elijah says, we've come to translate the Bible. As we mentioned, over 100 different languages are spoken in Vanuatu. Can you imagine going to McDonald's for lunch and the people at all the tables around you were speaking different languages from you? That's what it's like here. Sadly, only six languages here have finished Bibles. Some have parts of the Bible, but most have none of God's Word in their language. How hard would it be for you to obey your parents if they were giving you instructions in another language? That's what it's like for the Christians here in Vanuatu. They want to obey God, but because no one has translated the Bible into their languages, they can't understand what God is saying. So, along with four other families, we are working to teach the people of Vanuatu to translate God's Word into their very own languages. We are training 15 students right now, 13 men and 2 women. Obviously, our team can't translate the Bible into 100 languages all at one time, but we have started with four languages. The Sa, Atma, and Hano languages of Pentecost Island, and the Habai language of the island Ambai. These men and women come to Santo, where we live, for four weeks at a time to study and work on translating the Bible. Then they go back to their homes, families, and churches for two to three months. While they are home, they share the scripture they have translated with their friends and churches, and they also work on translating more. These students will be studying, traveling, translating, and working like this for four years. After that, we can start again with students from more languages. By doing this over and over again, we hope to eventually see the Bible translated so that everyone in Vanuatu can read it for themselves. Along with each of the other four families, our family has a special part in training our students to translate the Bible. My job is to homeschool Elijah and the other missionary kids, as well as keep everyone stocked up on yummy stuff to eat. Elijah's job is to be a kid, and Craig's special job is to teach Hebrew to our students. Did you know that the Bible wasn't written in English? Actually, the Bible was mostly written in languages called Hebrew and Greek. By teaching our students to read the Bible in Hebrew and Greek, they can make the best possible translation of God's Word into their languages. Craig uses some special teaching methods to make learning Hebrew easy and fun. He has lots of pictures, toys, and games that he uses with his students, all while explaining everything he does in Hebrew. You might even want to take one of his classes yourself. Last time I visited, he had all of his students learning words about building by making houses out of Legos. Now comes the hard work. Our students must apply what they have learned and use it to actually translate God's words in Hebrew and Greek into meaningful things in their own languages. In Vanuatu, no one likes to do anything alone. Everyone likes to work in groups. So, as you can see, our students talk and work together to find the best words to translate the Bible into their languages. You may be thinking, why is it hard work to figure out how to translate the Bible? Can't you just take the words from Hebrew and switch them out for the right words from that person's language? It would be nice if it was that easy, but it's just not. For example, think about all the times that sheep are talked about in the Bible. And Jesus refers to himself as the Good Shepherd. Did you know that there aren't any sheep in Vanuatu? Also, lots of times the Bible talks about planting seeds. However, here in Vanuatu, people don't plant things from seed. They just cut up a plant that's already growing and replant part of it somewhere else. Because of these differences, translating the Bible can be a lot of hard work. Despite how much hard work it is to translate the Bible, the effort is worth it. Take just a moment to listen to Pastor Vusi explain why it is so important to have the Bible translated into the languages of Vanuatu. The importance of uh, 
Bible translation is to turn the Bible into mother tongue languages so that the local people will read the Bible in their own language uh, to understand it and especially when understanding the Word of God in their own language it will uh, help them uh, grow in their life uh, as Christians and also um, a lot of uh, the people who read the Bible will change their life. So, you may be wondering now, what can I do to help? Well, you've already started. Thank you so much for giving your offerings this week to help support our ministry. You have made a difference in the lives of the people of Vanuatu. If you think that you might want to grow up to be a missionary or Bible translator and help us here in Vanuatu or go somewhere else in the world, that's amazing! Jesus says, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. That means there's a lot of work to be done, but not very many workers. We would love for you to grow up to work alongside us in bringing God's word to all the people of the world. You can find out more about what we are doing by signing up for our email newsletters and prayer requests, or by following us on Facebook. Your leaders are going to be passing out some cards to you with our picture on them and some special prayer requests. Please be praying for us. These cards also have all the information you need to get in touch with us to learn more about Bible translation and being a missionary. Thanks again for letting us share with you and for giving your offerings to help bring God's Word to Vanuatu. You kids are awesome!